everyone, it's Rihanna here with Gambler. For those of you that don't know, Gambler is our 18-year-old quarter horse that we have here on the property as a therapy horse in training. Today you're going to be seeing us do some sensory exposure with him. We do this with all of our horses on a continuous basis just to keep them in the right frame of mind for their job jobs. So as always, we're starting everything off with a nice long warm-up. This is going to let Gambler get nice and stretched out, as well as let the team settle in and the rider get comfortable. Once everyone's ready to go, we'll begin. Today we have Alyssa, our equine manager, heading up Gambler's training session. We also have one rider, one sidewalker, and a horse handler. We like to have as complete of a team as possible to make it more realistic for real lesson situations. Plus, having an entire team makes for a safer environment in case we ever get a negative reaction to one of our sensory objects. So we wanted to capture as much of the process in this video as possible, but we are fully aware that you're probably not going to want to sit through a full 20 minute training session. With that being said, we're gonna speed up the video while still talking through some of the highlights. We are starting off with this inflatable cube, as we call it. It's similar to a beach ball, so it makes noise, it flies easily in wind. Gambler is not a fan of these, which is why we're bringing them out to desensitize him. We're rubbing it all over his body, letting him see, letting him smell. This way he knows it's not going to hurt him. And this is just a great way to introduce something to a horse before expecting him not to react if it's being thrown or tossed, whether on his back or even just around him. Everything that we're doing, we're doing on both sides to let both sides of Gambler's brain process it. Super important. And again, we do do this with all of our horses on a continuous basis. Therapy horses are constantly exposed to all sorts of sensory items, which is why we do so much sensory exposure with our horses. We practice with different sensory items, as well as different situations that may occur, which is why you always see the cube getting tossed from the back, sometimes from the front. Later, you're going to see it roll under the horse. You never know what's going to happen in a session or a lesson, and our job is to help that horse be prepared for anything that they may encounter. So Gambler is being such a good boy for being fairly new at this. He is having some reaction, which can be expected. It's not every day that you see a giant inflatable cube rolling under you. And with more practice, he'll just keep getting better and better. We're so proud of him. Some of our favorite sensory items to work with include balls, bean bags, and rings. So here you're going to see us tossing them back and forth, over his neck, to the side, purposely dropping them sometimes because it does happen in lessons. All the while we're remaining super patient with him and letting him take it all in without feeling pressured. So here we have Alyssa and Maddie tossing items back and forth while Gambler's required to walk straight through them with his team. This is an amazing picture of progress and he did so, so well. This was just a tiny glimpse of all the sensory exposure work that we do with our horses, but we hope that you enjoyed getting to see what a session looked like and how much effort our team puts into making our therapy horses comfortable and safe mounts for the program. Thanks for watching. Until, Until next time. time.